Welcome learners to Form 2 Mathematics. Our topic today is linear motion. Linear motion. Let us look at this example. A motorist A left Embu for Nairobi a distance of 240 kilometers at 8 a.m. Ed traveled at an average speed of 90 kilometers per hour. Another motorist B left Nairobi for Embu at uh, 8.30 a.m. Ed traveled at 100 kilometers per hour. Find A, the time they met. B, how far they met. So, Lana, the first thing that you do is to draw a line here to represent the route from Ebu to Nairobi or Nairobi to Embu. So, you come on this end, you write Embu. On this other end, you write Na Nairobi. So, a motorist A left Embu for Nairobi. You come here and write motorist A. We can write it in short, M-O-T. Motorist A uh, left Embu for Nairobi. So, he's moving this way. A distance of 240 kilometers. Lana, the distance between Ebu and Nairobi is... 240 kilometers 240 kilometers we are told that he left Ebu at 8 a.m you come and write your 8 a.m here yes then you come and write his speed 90 kilometers per hour the speed okay another motorist b left nairobi so you come and write motorist B in short. He left Nairobi at 8.30 a.m. 8.30 a.m. And traveled uh, at a speed of 100 kilometers per hour. Good. So the question is, find the time they met. You know this one is moving this way and this one is moving this way. So they are moving towards uh, each other. And therefore, find the time they met A. So the first thing learner in such a problem is to equate the times. This motor list left at 8 a.m. and this other one at 8.30 a.m. Talk of 8.30. By 8.30, you come and write that. By 8.30 a.m., motorist A will have covered what distance learner? Because he left a bit early. So he'll have covered what distance. So here, you consider the time taken by motorist A. And the time here will be what? You are talking of 8.30. And he had left a embu at 8. So you subtract. You get 30 minutes. 30 minutes is the same as half an hour. Good. Then, you come and fix the speed it is traveling at what speed it is traveling at 90 kilometers per hour and therefore learner what is the distance covered by motorist a uh, at 8 that distance is equal to speed times times speed times time and therefore this is 90 times a half yes which gives you 45 kilometers. So by 8.30, by 8.30, uh, he will have covered a distance of uh, 40 kilometers. You come and fix it here. This is 45 kilometers from Embu. So your motorist A now is here. At what time? At 8.30 a.m. Look at that, Lana. 45 kilometers from Embu. So, Lana, from here to here, how many kilometers are these that the two are going to cover? This one is coming this way, this other one is traveling this way. So, how many kilometers are those? It is the total distance, which is 240 minus 45. So, you come and write that. The remaining distance, the remaining distance, is what between them is what 
it is 240 kilometers minus 45 kilometers which is 195 kilometers this is the distance that the two of them will cover whenever they will be meeting whenever they will meet wherever they will meet they will have covered that distance and therefore learn uh, how long will they i mean how long will they take to cover this distance so what is the 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 speed you first get the speed we call it the relative speed relative speed they will have to move at what is speed they will have to move at what speed so learner you come and take at the speed for motorist a which is 90 kilometers per hour you add to motorist motorist uh, the speed for motorist b which gives you 190 kilometers per hour in short how do you get why do we add you see lana maybe i can uh, explain a bit in one hour motorist a motorist a covers 90 kilometers now that uh, his speed is 90 kilometers per hour motorist b in the same hour he covers 100 kilometers now that his speed is 100 kilometers per hour therefore learn in one hour the two motorists therefore will cover what distance they will cover 90 plus 100 to give you 190 kilometers and that is why we are talking of uh, 190 kilometers per hour therefore learn with the distance and with the speed that they will move at, we can be able to find the time taken. We can be able to get the time taken. Time taken by the two of them to meet. Time taken will be equal to distance, which is 195. The remaining distance divided by the speed. By the speed. Learner using a calculator, you'll get 1.03 uh, hours which is the same as what? This is the same as one hour and about uh, two minutes. One hour and about two minutes. Maybe you may wonder how we are getting those two minutes. Maybe I can explain here. You take this fraction here, 0 0.03 hours, you multiply by 60, it gives you around 1.8 minutes, 1.8 minutes, uh, which is about two minutes, okay? Yep. So from there now, Lada, you come and get the time that they met. At what time did they meet? At what time did they meet? So you come and talk of, we are talking about 8.30 a.m. And then you add the time that they have taken to meet. 8.30 a.m., Lana, you add uh, the time that they have taken to meet. So this gives you 9.32 am 9:32 am we go to part b lana part b part b how far they met from nairobi how far did they meet from nairobi here maybe you can consider motorist b hmm? motorist b so if we talk of motorist b lana motorist b motorist b his speed his speed is 100 kilometers per hour and he will take what time we have said that uh, he will take two uh, i mean 1.03 hours 1.03 hours and therefore the distance from nairobi therefore will be a speed times time speed times time which gives you 103 kilometers from Nairobi. So motorist B will have traveled uh, from this end of Nairobi about 103 kilometers. Good. So Lana, go and do uh, practice. Whenever the, any two vehicles or motorists or people are moving towards each other, to get the relative speed, you normally add. You normally add. Go and practice. Bye-bye. Thank you.